A very good morning to you. We've been moored for a couple of nights here opposite this old mill. A little bit more about that in a moment. It's Thursday the 11th of January. Again, it's very, very cold. I think the snood will be coming out. Uh, but we're heading for repairs. It's early morning. We're heading for our repairs this morning. So we're all very excited to get it done and to give Chugs a well-earned engine service. So it'll be nice. And uh, this weekend, Nikki's mum and dad are coming to visit as well. So we're looking forward to that. But this old mill moored in front of it, it's beautiful. Used to be an old corn mill in 1863 when it was built. Beautiful brickwork, absolutely wonderful. Uh, but in the 1920s, a company called Fowell and Jones took it over and they used to make lovely warm lambs wool slippers and uh, socks. They sound very uncomfortable, but they used to make thermal socks and damp proof socks uh, out of horsehair, cotton and swans down unusually so uh, they do sound very warm but yeah it has got a bit of history this beautiful old building sadly though in 1939 the world changed the outbreak of world war ii saw the change of fowl and jones they started to make gas masks uh, both for the military and the public use and also bomb proof and gas proof shelters uh, during the war years but now it lies fairly derelict it needs a lot of work doing on it there is a property with it there is a house with it as well and back in 2013 all of that could have been yours for 1.2 million pounds it came up for sale I don't know the full details I don't think it's sold so it's still sitting here uh, but the price uh, did go up because later in that year, 2013, there was a large Tesco's that got built here in the September of that year. And that put the property uh, value up quite a bit. But there was plans to make it either industrial units or another little exclusive housing estate. So in a way, I'm glad it didn't sell. And it's still nice for us boaters to see here. It's gorgeous. Lovely history. The gentleman that's doing our repairs is called Dell, and in fact he is a YouTuber himself. Check out his channel, Boat Dog Traveller. He lives on his boat locally in the area, well for now he does, uh, but there's two lovely dogs, Archie and Spike. Um, he does run his business, so uh, a little bit more on that perhaps, a little bit later when we get to Dell. Uh, he wanted us there for 10 o'clock this morning. It's a little after nine, and it's about a 40 minute cruise, so we should be there in plenty of time. Dell has a lovely channel. It's well worth a watch. And if you want to know some of the best pubs in the area, Dell is your man. He uh, gives you the best prices and the best ales, uh, but his dogs are so loyal. They are gorgeous dogs. Yeah, check him out.
The night before last, we were lying in bed. It was half two in the morning, and we could hear someone with a chainsaw, and they were going for it, making a right blimmin' racket. Half past two in the morning, and it was a little bit disconcerting, really. You're lying in bed, and you don't know, it might be some sort of nutter with a chainsaw on the towpath. Uh, yeah, and it was going on for quite some time, I would say about an hour and a half. Really strange, but I wasn't about to go and uh, have a word with them and ask them to stop. Bit strange that was. Not long to go now and we'll uh, we'll be at Dell, so uh, we'll see you there. Well, we're here. We've arrived at Dell's mooring and there's a man in the engine bay. He's got his head down. He's working hard. Um, everything looks straightforward for the jobs that he needs to do. Uh, we'll have a word with him in a bit, but uh, he's just having a look of what we need to do. So I'm not going to disturb him because I know bugger all about engines or electrics. And Dell knows everything about everything down there. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm changing oil, aren't I? <laughs> I've just dropped the car. Oh, good start. <laughs> <laughs> so engine service time. Dell's in the engine. The big job's done. Now it's the easy job. I don't know about that. Well, it, it's, it's <laughs> easy for me, mate, because I'm not in there. You're watching. There we are. You can do it. I can watch if you want. <laughs> so Del's done the big job. As I've said, uh, we've got a, a few jobs to do, and Del's done the most of it. So now it's the, well, it's the nuts and bolts of the job. It's it's the service engine. Uh, it's the service engine. It's the engine service. I've been stood out in the cold, and I don't like the cold either. <laughs> Here, isn't it? You're doing a lot of singing. I believe you're into the Spice Girls, Del. <laughs> you were singing to the Spice Girls before. Yeah, I didn't say that. Yeah, what was the other one you were singing Britney, to? Britney Spears. Britney Spears, yeah. He's into his Britney Spears, is Del. <laughs> <laughs> you're right down there, Del. Fine, mate. Shall I just put the lid on now? No, no, you're all right. So that's it. Engine and all the other jobs are done. So this phone might be a bit blurred now because trust me, it's going dark. Uh, Dell's just finished the job. He's just putting stuff away now. And then we're going to push the other side of the moor in here. We were going to carry on to Hansacre, but it's, as I say, it's going too dark already. There's the man that can. So you've seen his number. So if you need any work doing and he's in the area, by all means, get in touch with him. He does anything, don't you? To a degree. To a, de to a, degree. To a, to a degree, you know <laughs> what I mean? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> but yeah, job done. We're happy. He's happy. I'm looking forward to getting more done. There we go. Cheers, Dale. See you in a bit. It's probably blurred, but it's very dark now. We're just reversing over this side. Get mowed up for the night. As I say, sorry for the poor picture quality. It is dark. Uh, we're moored on the opposite side now to Dell, ready for an early start tomorrow. Where, where we're going to head to Fradley. I just want to get in. It is very dark and very cold and it's tea time. So uh, we'll catch you next time we move. See you folks. Thank <laughs> you.
Biscuit, what are you doing to your brother? Brindley's not interested. What have you, you done with your ear, Brindley? What have you done with your ear? Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Where are you? You're gonna say good morning. Good morning, Dix. Oh, I know Dixie. Daily Whaley. He's under here. Daily Whaley, unfortunately, hasn't been very well lately, so we're keeping an eye on him. Where are you, baby Dale? Oh, there he is. He looks good this morning. Good morning, baby. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, he just woke up. That's okay then. Do you want to go back to sleep? Do you want to go back to sleep? All right. Well, the fire's going. You're nice and warm. Good. Morning, it's Friday the 12th of January. It's not bad this morning. I am wrapped up because I'm ready for it. We've got about a two and a half hour cruise down to Fradley this morning. It is still quite dark. So as you can see, we've got the nav lights on, on chugs, just to make sure people can see us coming towards them. So uh, yeah, time to undo the ropes and get going, me thinks. There's a boat going already coming past us there. But uh, yeah. Good night's sleep here, but it's noisy by this road. We're ready to go. Let's go. So there's Dell. Great job done by Dell yesterday. He worked all day. As I say, check out his vlogs, Boat Dog Traveller. His dogs. His vlogs. Yeah, it feels good this morning to have Chugs back to A1 condition. Probably better than it was, to be honest. Uh, a good day's work yesterday, and we might be seeing Dell down at Fradley this weekend. So fingers crossed, it'll be nice. Right, Armitage Tunnel awaits. There isn't a tunnel. It worked out well this morning. That boat that uh, you saw go past us when we were moored up, uh, I saw him going through the tunnel here, so I know it's clear, so I'm just following him through. And if you're wondering where Nikki is, it is early morning. So uh, Nikki's in the boat with the little ones and she's doing their breakfast. So they're having breakfast and everything. I'm hoping for a round of toast shortly. Uh, and they're getting ready and the, the kiddies are looking forward to seeing their grandparents. And obviously Nikki and myself are looking forward to seeing her mum and dad uh, down at Fradley. Or even King's uh, Bromley Marina. We're gonna pop in there for some fuel. So who knows, we might be picking Val up there. And she might be coming for a cruise, but uh, nothing confirmed yet. We'll see.
pointing to the rock there, the bridge. Very clever engineers. The other morning when we were moored in Rusley, I had the pleasure of talking to a gentleman that lives here in Anseca, right near the Crown Pub that we're going past now. I think his name was Paul, uh, with his lovely uh, little beagle dog. Uh, he walks around some of the canal network around here, around the Midlands. It was nice chatting to you, Paul, if you're watching. Um, yeah, surprising. Who watches? <laughs> I was just out with Dale. Dale's got a little bit... Uh, of a poorly leg at the moment. He suffers a little bit with arthritis and he's struggling a little bit. So I was just out with him. Just coming up to King's Bromley Marina, we need to go in there, get some blue and some fuel. Now it's a little bit awkward because I'm going to try and film and steer the boat. Nikki's still in the boat at the moment. She just brought me a nice round of toast out with the mum's marmalade. It's lovely. Let's try and get in here with one arm. easy at the best of times getting in these marinas they have a very small tight entrance so as if ever there's a problem on the canal a breach or anything they can close off the marina and trap the water in the marina to keep all the boats safe that's why they're always so narrow there we are well we're in I'm gonna get on the fuel bay now I'll see you in there I'd like to say we're all fueled up, but we're not. We had a little splash and dash, not at these prices. Uh, we'll look out for the fuel boat or somewhere a little bit cheaper. Oh, heck. I have just sounded our horn. 
And here we go again. Back on the Trenton Mersey. Unfortunately, Val couldn't meet us in the marina, but we're meeting them down by uh, Fradley there, down by Fradley Locks. Uh, one lock for us today, that's Wood End Lock, uh, and then we should uh, be at Fradley about 10, 15 minutes later. Very overcast today, it is cold. Uh, not as cold as it has been, but it is overcast today. But now, it looks much the same, through the trees, down to Wood End Lock. Come on in. And there's Wood End Lock right in front of us. I can actually see a boat in the lock, but uh, I can't quite make out which way it's headed. Well, obviously. The boat was going our way. I think for the day um, unless we go down onto the Coventry a bit later on but I think we'll be doing that another day so uh, round a couple of bends and then we're at Fradley Well, I think that's it for the day. We're moored up on top of the locks here. Uh, just before the junction, we've got a couple of locks. And then when we move, we're gonna be turning right, uh, opposite the swan there, the mucky duck, and heading down towards Coventry. Uh, well, on the Coventry anyway. Nice cruise today. Chugs ran like a dream. I had a nice engine service and some other jobs done yesterday. And we're, we're both very, very pleased with the result, but, uh, yeah, join us next time when our adventure, I think, really starts uh, in earnest. Um, waters we've done, but not for about 18 months or two years or so. Um, 
but it'd be nice to share it with you and perhaps you haven't seen it if you're a new subscriber and if you are welcome to the channel um, please feel free to share our vlogs it'll be great to get the word out there uh, thanks guys that's it I'm going in for a cup of coffee catch you later Thank you.